look at the situation I got myself in trying to get out of this kid's driveway where I just bought my Indy trail here. It's awesome, like snowmobile heaven up here. It's a little boggy. You ever had problems with the carbs? You mind if I check compression on it? I started heading up this hill. I almost made it. I lost my four-wheel drive, so I almost made it up this hill. Started spinning backwards. You can see my tracks. And then, of course, spinning backwards, the trailer jackknifes, and bam, right into my tire right there. Definite flat tire now. It's punctured right through it. I got to get rid of this thing. Look at Look at that. That ain't what you like to see. All right, well, that was quite the uh, crap show that we had back there. Finally got the trailer out. It was just a, just chaotic. Huh? All right, and we're live in my hometown. Oh, this thing's actually not too heavy. Kind of nice. The Indy 500 in 1895. This thing is actually in pretty good shape when you think about it. Besides the seat, track is uh, it's seen better days, but as far as the cowl, suspension's good, both front and rear. Uh, nice skis on, nice plastic skis. A few things here and there. It does have 6,100 miles, but it's definitely been rebuilt before. Has to have been. These things don't go, don't go that long. Oh, I had the key off. <laughs> Look at that. Fired right up. Probably throw some fresh gas in it, actually. Oh yeah, she needs a little, a little love. I'd say going right around here is probably worth about 700 bucks as is. If I do a little work to it, probably bump it up to 800. Well, what about in your area? I know it differs all over the country, so. Seems to run all right. It's running a little high. I might have to change the idle a little bit. suspension on it. Steering is incredible actually for an old sled like this. These are definitely not stock skis. Back then they did metal skis stock on these. So those nice uh, plastic skis really help. Oh, that is a big bump. That's how you test out the suspension. Here's how you grind down your carbides. Not something I like to do, but you have to do it sometimes. Hey, right, here's our field. Yeah! need to be tuned a little bit. We're going to tune her up. If anything, you get your money's back in parts, but I'd like to have a good run in the sled. These things are pretty fun. It is running good right now. Just got that weird bog issue, which I think we can need to go over to Mike's and fix that right now. Hey, there he is. Wow, you got the classic ride more sweatshirt. Yeah, you don't make these anymore? I don't make them anymore, but we should start. Well, that's Let us a shame know. because... Uh, you guys are out of luck. Who'd you kill to get that? It's no longer a business, but it was Sam's business. Oh. <laughs> the old shop, some people remember it. But hey, check out the new toy. All right, so this is a 1995 Indy Trail 500. All right, we got it for 300 bucks. 500? And it needs a tune-up, and I figured you are the carb doctor, so I had to bring it to you. We're gonna fix this thing up, get it running top notch. Yeah. You're still stuck on the MXZ, huh? <laughs> Is this the one that didn't run the last time? That's right, yeah, this is the one that left us stranded. Does it run now? It doesn't run now, I haven't touched it. I haven't, I, so the whole GMC Yukon thing kind of screwed me over and I finally was able to attach to the trailer again. Yep. It's been like two weeks. This is the new rig, 2011, 
Toyota Tacoma, 120,000 miles. Manual transmission, which is sweet. New year, new truck, new sleds, new jeans. Oh, you got new <laughs> jeans? You already ripped them. <laughs> well, yeah. Is that, is that tape on the inside? Yeah. <laughs> the sled got a little dirty on the way over, but yeah. I didn't know it's so nice out. I didn't know if you want to work on it outside or bring it in the shop. We can bring it in. It does run. Yeah. And it has reverse. Yeah. Probably simplest reverse I've seen, which I'm surprised they don't make anymore, but you pull the top up here, you pull it up. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah, it's it's great. It's mechanical, you know, no no friggin' electrics. Got a good tow bumper. What was the deal? Uh, I just got it from a kid who's moving to Burlington and oh. he's moving to the big city. So for for those of you that don't know, Burlington is if you're a Star Wars fan, it's it's the hive of scum and villainy. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> Mike's not a big fan of Burlington. But yeah, he was moving away, just wanted to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure it was his dad's, because he actually had a YouTube video up, and he was ripping around. It was like classical music, not something I think a teenager would be into. But I think it's going to be a good little ripper. <laughs> she needs a tune-up. <sighs> Give me a second. Ah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> my jeans some more. Wait a second, hold on, what hold on. What do you on. mean, oh no? I don't have the key. Where does it? Hang on, hang on, it might be on. I hope so. <laughs> it's in the Yukon. <laughs> it might be. This kind of stuff makes me really happy. Oh, this one's got a ton of performance. Wait a second now, can't you unplug the key and it still fires up? Is that thing, on these old indies? I think we can just unplug this. You think if, that, if it was Eddie's, they wouldn't have bought it, right? <laughs> Look at that beauty. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Ready for action. Wow, these hood straps are even in. I know, the, the cables aren't even broken. Means he hasn't even rolled it over, huh? He did the airbox delete mod. Um, what else we got going on? What year? Nothing really. It doesn't have an exhaust leak even. It's crazy. This is a 1995. You want to sell it? It may or may not come with a key when I do sell it, but uh, <laughs> let's see what kind of carbs we got. These are uh, old uh, Makunis. They did away with the clip. I don't like that. This is annoying. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, that's not bad. A little bit of wear on the clutch, but that's to be expected, huh? I'll put that there. How are the teeth on it? Oh, yeah, she ripping. Oh, he's got oh his power man, tools. I can't get in there. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to take those off. Yeah, well, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any Bubba work. No, nothing Bubba'd up here. This is a little Bubba-ish, but it does a job, I guess. <laughs> The Bubba radiator clip. Nice. Yeah, Bob Seeger playing. Unfortunately, Bob Seeger reminds me of the Yukon because that CD was <laughs> in it when Is I bought it. Going it. For the new owner? Sweet summertime. I like this one because <clears throat> it auto adjusts. Grab there or there, you can. Oh, yeah, that was nice. And for these things, look at this. Whoosh. Done. I see there's some people down at the school, so we may not be able to rip down there like I was planning on with this thing. What are you doing snowmobile appreciation meeting? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Hey, that looks clean. There's no gunk, it's not built up, it's not hanging. Cheers. I guess this isn't too bad. <laughs> Yoink. Zip it right off. <laughs> yeah, that have some fighting it there. <laughs> <laughs> Those. Maybe worth a scrub on that. Are they stripped? Those two are. Ah. Well, now they are. <laughs> this is the best part. You get to see what kind of this goodies. This is like Christmas. My cat I left me stranded. And there was a gummy bear and a pine needle inside the carburetor. I thought that was a running joke. No, it was a gummy bear. Travis put that in there. I think he like jammed <laughs> it in my air filter. <laughs> and it, uh... an, actual, an actual gummy bear? That is mint. Oh, that's not what we like to see. We want to see something gummed up because it's bogging a bit. Well, we'll clean the jets. Or maybe you mixed up the jets. You, know, you never know. I've seen that before. Yoink. It's clear as a whistle. Oh, those are brass too. So if you don't get a good bite on it, they chip away. Then we have to drill them out. Yeah. Do the inspection. <laughs> I 
Mmm. Little gummed up. Oh, that's good. Your uh, number one brand. Gum out. They actually follow us on Instagram, you know. I think this company, I don't know if I should cover it or not. They're thinking about sponsoring us. $35 every carb we clean in a video. Consider the offer. <laughs> How many brain cells do you think we lost just cleaning carbs? Well. Have you been able to count? <laughs> Look at that. This is a chisel made just for carbs. Look at that. We just give it a one little smack. We got enough on the end to grip it and rip it. Boom. Wow, that is handy. Isn't that more satisfying? I think from now on, like I said, I'm gonna start buying rebuild kits for them all. Nothing really rebuilding this. Yeah, this one's pretty clean, but. One of them's done. Do the other one? <laughs> yeah, here we go. You say cleaning carbs is one of your top favorite things in the world? Yeah, one of the reasons is most people don't even bother with it. They would rather put the sled in the bushes and spend 20 grand on a new one. It just feels like it's proper, you know, it should be done. You could be the gum out mascot, you know. Every yeah. year gum out holds a tournament. <coughs> Who is gonna be the gum out idol? Now look at that, that is spick and span. Now we're gonna find a cleaner jet than that. Okay, I'm gonna go dump this. Yeah, I'll clean the rest. In a proper waste container. <laughs> <laughs> Do a Guinness World Record carb clean. <laughs> Nobody will ever try to beat it. <laughs> yeah, nobody cleans them. We're probably gonna get so flagged on our music. <laughs> you, you got flagged the moment you picked up the camera. <laughs> I am on strike three on TikTok, by the way. For what? I don't know. It's, everything is just uh, dangerous acts. Everything. Everything we do is dangerous. Try dying your hair purple. I think they let you let a couple of those slide. And we're done. Two beautifully clean carbs. What do you guys think about this thing? Mike, what do you think about this thing? I'm gonna give you the 20 mile, 20 minute guarantee. <laughs> yeah, you only think... comes first. Get on there. Yeah. <laughs> no. I wanna see you take this up that hill climb. Which one? The one on the big hill down there. At the school? Well, I know. At the secret riding <laughs> test course. All those, all those parents are just gonna hate me. See me wow. ripping this old thing across the lawn. Everyone has a reason to hate everybody, so you might as well just do what you wanna do. All right? Wow, those are wise words. It brings me back to the Robbie days. All right, we're gonna cut the camera. We're gonna adjust these. <laughs> cut the camera. Uh, sorry, right, we're back with you. We got this adjusted. Erase you. No, no, you're gonna beat me. Oh. oh. You want to blast them? Right. Got new spark plugs for this thing. Mike just sanded them down for us. What do you think? This thing gonna rip real good. I think you got a chance. Time to rip. See how she goes after a professional carb doctor tune up. You work on this thing, you do the honors. You still got a key unplugged? Keys unplugged, yeah. Halfway. Oh, we gotta pump the gas. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nope. Yes, maybe it doesn't want choke. Yeah. All right. We knew it was going to start, but now the ultimate test is will it bomb? Reverse is so nice. I want to buy this sled from him. <laughs> that's the easiest reverse I've ever seen on a summer. I know, that's what I'm saying. Why don't they do that more? I'm just gonna go to the end of the driveway for now and I'm gonna scope out the scene and see if all the school teachers are there. A little boggy still. <laughs> see, this is the one of the most beautiful fields you can ride in, but I'm a little nervous with all those cars over there. Still 
got that that low end bog, but once it kicks in, man, it screams. You gotta test that thing out though. It's a lot of fun. I just noticed when I went to shut it off, it is idling a little bit high. Let's mark them where they are. You know what we could invest in is a caliper. Marker. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Sure, let's see how that Three performs. more to go 1500 uh go in a little bit all right take her for a test run yeah see he's got that a little bog to it he's gonna open her up though there he goes that reverse <laughs> anytime you get to use the reverse huh? another two up adventure to the school <laughs> oh boy oh boy hey it's got enough power for both of us <laughs> yeah see open her up yeah nice suspension on this <laughs> head for the hill there's some fence right there I don't think you can go over it that way. Wow, that, that hill is so much bigger than I remember. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> hey, we made it. Test our turning abilities. <laughs> the brake works good. <laughs> Alright, we're in a car, ready? Okay, okay. <laughs> I knew that was coming too. Oh, so much snow in my, <laughs> in my neck. What do you think, guys? Should we keep it? Make it back to the house. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get it back what? before it dies out here. Maybe he's got the same issue as what your Indy has. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's running. I think this need, thing needs some work. Sorry, Mike. I had to at least get to the road. <laughs> Didn't want to get stranded out there. <laughs> wrong with it mike nothing what do, you, what do we got to do <laughs> <laughs> nothing oh you guys let us know what you think now in the comments um let us know if you want us to keep it what do you want us to do with this thing anyways thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and what do you got to say mike i don't know i think this thing is uh, a lot of fun i like the reverse i know it's nice <laughs> that's the best feature on this thing it helped climb the both of us on it so yeah it's, it did but it almost we almost didn't make it <laughs> we almost didn't make it out of the field So the theme really and what we strive for in these videos in case you haven't figured it out is all these awesome machines just get left neglected 
pushed into the woods, into the bushes. Nobody takes care of them. They rot, or they people send them to the junkyard because they're old and they're, you know, they need work or something. Our job here, and the way it's been growing up, is those things have value, and that's what we're trying to tell you. You go out in the bushes, get that thing, bring it back, do a little bit of work. The work that the previous owner neglected, get them running again, and you can have a lot of fun on an old machine like this. More fun. For just a few hundred dollars, and you get some experience working on machines. That's what we really strive and for. And you on get this to channel. keep your other nineteen thousand seven hundred dollars for the stock market. Yeah, the stock market. <laughs> that's what the uh, the real goal is for the channel, and that's what we want to push on to you guys and inspire you to go fix up your old sleds or buy old sleds for cheap and. Get them all fixed up and have fun. Or anything. Old motorcycles, old Jeeps. So that way you can ride more.